This video is brought to you by ClipChat. What's poppin' guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to make presentation videos for remote work using ClipChamp. So if you guys are excited for this video, make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and I'll say, let's get started, obviously, right after the intro. Okay guys, so if you click on the first link down in the description, you need to just create an account real quick. It's completely for free and it only takes like a minute or so. And then you want to click on create video on the top left. And we're gonna pick the widescreen resolution for a presentation. Okay, so now we have the editor in front of us open and you can basically start off by browsing your files and importing all the clips for your presentation. Or you can just go to the stock library of ClipChamp and that's what we're gonna do right now. So if you click on stock on the very left, you will be prompt this menu where you can actually pick like the theme of your presentation whether it's like a presentation for Easter or basically anything that you would like so let's create a little scenario that we are going to start a new business plan for our company after like the whole coronavirus situation we actually want to go ahead and pick like a nice template that fits our presentation okay so let's say that we are going to make a new deal for our company we actually need for example this handshake clip which is really nice so we're gonna click on this plus icon so it will be actually inserted into our media browser so we're gonna also pick some other business related clips for example this one so we're gonna just browse a little bit through and we're gonna see which clips are actually fitting our presentation okay so now that we have selected all the clips we're gonna go close this out and then we're gonna go back to our editor and now that all the clips are in our timeline it's basically time to organize these in our timeline timeline at the bottom. So let's going to start off with this nine second clip. We're going to put that one in our timeline. I'm going to put it at the very beginning. And then we're going to basically choose the order of our four clips. Okay, so now that we have all clips in our timeline, this is going to be the first one. This is going to, so this is going to be our second clip. This is going to be our third clip. And this is going to be our fourth clip. So now we're going to start off by adding some text to our presentation. So we're going to go click on this text icon on the left. And we're going to pick, for example, this animated mirror one. So we're going to drag that onto our timeline. And we're going to place that one at the very beginning. And we're going to also make sure that the duration is as long as the first clip. So we can just drag that to the right. And then we can actually adjust our text. So we're going to click on the text icon at the top. So we will then we'll see this menu where we can actually customize the text to what we want. So the headline is obviously, you know, this big title. And then yourexample.com is obviously this text at the bottom. So let's change that up. So let's say that we're going to call this business plan 2020. We're going to type that in. And then at the bottom, we're going to type in step by step present. Okay, so then we can also add in our logo right here. So we can also change up the font if we select all our text and we can just go and browse through the font menu and see which one fits best. So then we can also upload our logo if you click on here. So let's say that we're going to use this ClipChamp logo right there and we can also make that logo a lot bigger if you want to, for example, like that. So then if we play it back, this is basically what it looks like. Business plan 2020 step by step presentation. At the end, it also disappears like this. So then we're going to move on to the second part of the presentation and we're going to also add in some text and overlay because let's say that you want to have a meeting but during this entire COVID-19 situation you're not allowed able to meet up in person so you can just show this one this presentation over Skype or Zoom or anything like that so you can still do it remotely. Okay so then we're going to drag on this clean text overlay onto the second one and we're going to also make that one as long as the second clip of course. So then we're going to also customize the second text layer so then we're going to go ahead and actually remove the logo because we don't need that for the second part and we're going to go back to text at the top and we can actually fill in our text now if it's a lot of text you can actually make this box a lot bigger and you can also make the size of the font smaller by clicking on transform and then you will also see that you can shrink it down now if it's a lot of text you basically want to structure this for example quick and easily finish your strategic plan turn your ideas into reality dominate your competitors increase sales and profits trusted by more than 100,000 businesses zero learning curve 365 day 100 percent money back guarantee get the world's best growth strategies and tactics you can also divide all this text into two text files so let's copy the second part of it and let's remove it so it's actually a little bit better so then we can also for example shrink the size down halfway so we can also have the second text part on the last part of this clip you need to make sure they will pick a transparent one 
So let's go ahead and pick this one, the large heading. Then we're going to put that one against the first one. And we're going to make sure that we will also align this with like the length of the second part of that clip like that. So then we're going to also click on text and we're going to paste in the remaining text part that we had first. Now we're gonna go back to transform at the top so we can actually make the text a lot smaller. And we can also add in multiple spaces. And you can also, for example, like press enter after this sign. So we'll actually be in the screen a lot more efficient and it's a lot easier to read. So let's play it back. Now, as you can see right now, this is a lot of text to read and it's a little bit too short because if it's going to disappear right here, people might be like halfway through reading and they're going to it's going to cut off too short. So we're going to put that one a little bit more to the right and we'll also stretch this one a little further. So we have, you know, the people that are, you know, looking at this presentation have a lot more time to read that part. OK, so let's play it back and let's see what it looks like right now. Then we have the second text fading in and we can also make this one a lot, a lot longer as well. So people have time to read like 365 days of free customer support, business growth secret, $197 value, etc. And you can make this as long as you want. And how to decide if it's long enough, just play back from the beginning and read it at a normal phase. For example, get the world's best growth strategies and tactics, lifetime access and no recurring fees, 365 days of free customer support, business growth secrets, $197 value and free productivity secrets, $147 value included free. But as you can see, it cuts off a little bit too short. So we're going to stretch this a little more to the right. And if you pick up where we left off reading, included free and much more. So people don't have to rush themselves while reading this because it will be over too quickly. And of course, this is just an example, guys, of what you want to create. You can you can insert as many clips as you like. You can also choose the length of each clip. And let's say that we have this one. So let's say that we have like maybe like 15 different clips. You have talked about your entire strategy. It is time to add in an outro as well. So we're going to go back to the text button. So for example, we're going to drag this one on top of it right here. And we're going to make this clip as long as this clip lasts. So we can also change up the text right here. So we're going to go back to the text clip. We're going to hit text and where it says your headlines, we're going to type in thanks for watching, but it doesn't really fit. So we're going to go to transform, make it a little bit smaller, just like that. And we're going to also bring back the Clipchamp logo right here. I think that looks pretty tight. We can add in multiple text files if you want to. Business plan 2020. So if you play it back in total, guys, this is what it looks like. Business plan 2020, step-by-step -step presentation with the Clipchamp logo as well. Then it's going to fade into the next clip with all the text. It's going to move on to the next clip. You want to give people a lot more time to read this text, of course. And then we're going to pretend we had like maybe like 10 more scenes in between explaining your plan. And then at the very end, you want to basically add in your outro like that. But if you pay attention to details, this is actually overlaying like half of the handshake clip. So what I would do is I would click on the handshake clip. I would click on the handshake clip. I would go to transform and I would basically mirror this clip. So the handshake is actually mirrored and now more visible on the left, just like that. So guys, as a side note, if you would like to give more of a personal touch to your presentation, what you can also do is record yourself on camera, import that into the editor, crop out and delete unwanted parts so you can use camera footage instead of having an entire presentation consisting out of stock clips. Oh, and by the way, guys, it's also very important that you can also share your exported video through Google Drive, meaning that you can just export it and then you just want to click on this button right here and then it will prompt you this box where you need to sign in, of course, for your Google Drive and then you can actually import it that way and you can actually send it across to your clients or to any potential customers, everything like that. Real simple through Google Drive. That's it for this video. This is how you create like really, really cool remote work presentations. You can show on Skype or Zoom or basically any other software that you use to have your meetings. Make sure to use my discount code alex halford through the link down below. And this is how to do it. So that's it, guys. Now you guys know how to create these amazing presentation videos. I want to thank Clipchamp for sponsoring this video. I'll catch you guys obviously in a brand new video tomorrow. Thanks a lot for the continued support and I'll see you guys in my next video.